Hi everyone, this is how to make a very simple drawstring bag. In this case I'm going to make it with ripstop so that it's waterproof. And this is the bag that you're going to end up with. Now you can make them in different sizes, uh, but I've opted for, this is like a wash bag size, which was 25 centimetres wide by 30 centimetres deep. So you take your piece of fabric, I've actually cut one piece of fabric, so this is 52 centimetres wide by 33 centimetres deep. And then what you do is you just stitch along the top, so you put one on top of the other, sorry, right side to right side, and you stitch along the top, about a third of the way, and then leave about a third, and then finish off the whole line of stitching along the top there. This hole that you're leaving is going to be for bagging the bag out later. So that secures the top, the lining fabric to the base fabric. And it means that you don't have to make two separate bags and join them around the top. So it's a very, very simple way of doing it. So you then take your fabric and fold it in half and match up that those that row of stitching there. So you've got to match that up and pop a pin in there to keep it secure. So I've done that already on this one here. And then on here, you run your stitching one centimetre from the edge. So one centimetre wide seam all the way down here. You stop around about two and a half centimetres from the top, from the join, I should say and go backwards and forwards, leave a two centimetre gap, and then start here again, just around about where, about half a centimetre or so, um, under where the seam is, and then go backwards and forwards and stitch all the way down to the bottom. So that is going to leave a hole in the side of your bag, and that is going to be the hole that will form the channel and allow you to run your cord through it. So when you've done this, you also want to make sure that that seam is pressed open because you're going to be threading the cord through and you don't want it to get caught. So once you've done that, you fold it in half and you sew those bottoms together. Right away across both the top of fabric and the lining fabric. <coughs> and that forms your bag. Now that you've got it like that, I'm just going to show you with this bag here. There's a hole in the top. Just pull it through. Now, because you've already connected it at the bottom, the line will not pull out. It will be secure and in place the whole time. <coughs> <Sorry, excuse me. coughs> And so once you've pulled it through, you see this is your hole. You're going to turn the lining in, turn the main fabric in <clears throat> like this, and then stitch all the way around the top to seal that hole. <coughs> if you have a look at the side, you'll see here that this is the hole that we've left to thread the cord through. So once you've stitched around the top to so seal that, that hole that you bag the bag out. You then run another row of stitching three centimetres from the top all the way around the bag. And that is what is going to create your channel for your cord. You can see on this bag that I showed you earlier that it's got one row of uh, stitching here and one row of stitching three centimetres down. And as I say, this is where your hole is and you simply thread your cord through Knot it off, and here is your band. Thanks.